The other day while I was driving, God showed me a revelation of something that I've been dealing with. And so I decided to take a stop at this beautiful butterfly garden in my town. But then as I was walking through and saw these bees, God showed me yet another revelation. And that is what I want to share with you today. Take a look at them, head down, doing the work, not concerned about the other bees. Let's talk about it. It's been such a long time since I've been on YouTube. I've done like a real sit down video and um, there's just been a lot going on with me um, that I've been trying to sort through and just take, I had to take, I had to take a break <laughs> from everything at the end of May. Took a break from business, took a break from blogging, social media, just like really have a reset and um, just had to get away because I was just overwhelmed and feeling a lot of anxiety and even some depression about, you know, really when I look at the core of it, it a lot of it had to do with comparison and um, just struggling with comparison, really, <laughs> and feeling like I'm not where... I should be with the amount of work or the amount of, you know, input, things that I'm doing behind the scenes or even in front of the scenes that I just felt very underwhelmed by the results of what all I was putting out. And this week, this month, if you don't know, July, I put out what my July reminders are and I shared that at the beginning of the month. And so each week I'm going through each one of those reminders and just breaking down what that means and so today's is or this week's is to stay sane I will stay sane by staying in my lane and minding my own business I think that's how I put it but um yeah I just realized that me looking at what other people are doing me looking at um you know people that I admire and seeing what they've accomplished and going back and like okay well I know they're at chapter 20 in their life and I may just be at chapter 5 in you know my life or what I'm doing compared to what they're doing but I still would go back even though I realized that I would still go back and watch their progression and like well I'm at this stage and I should you know have taken off or I should have more success or I should have you know more resources and more you know whatever and so um that was just very difficult for me. Ugh, this hurts. Hold on, let me reset. Okay, there we go. So, um, I just realized like that was just so difficult for me to keep doing that. So, quick story. I'm an artist, and this would be one example. I'm an artist and a full time artist. I do abstract artwork and I would go back and look at people whose work is similar to mine or people who I admire and I liked going in their Instagram and going all the way to the beginning and most times they had like from their very start of like when they first got on Instagram and what they were doing and I could you could see the evolution and that was very inspiring and encouraging to me and seeing okay you know you know at this time like they switched to this or you know their ideas and they kept evolving their style and what products they offered and how they did things and and you could just see the growth and that was very encouraging to me for a while but then I found myself compare myself well at year three this is what they accomplished and then compare well I'm at year three what have I accomplished and not um even really paying attention to what I have accomplished <laughs> and just based on like trying to compare what I've accomplished to what they've accomplished and feeling like it wasn't enough when in fact I have done a lot in the past three years as a full-time artist in just coming to even that to be able to say I'm a full-time artist and not like flinch about it like that is my job that is my career and so um I realized you know there was a lot of comparison that I had been doing a lot of feeling underwhelmed by the amount of work that I've done and feeling like I should be much further along in my career I should be much further along in my business and money-wise income the type of stuff that I have hey even followers and there's just a lot of stuff that I have to work through and there's still things that I need to do in order to get to those places 
but um, as I showed you in a clip, I was walking through the butterfly garden in my town and I, I caught a glimpse of um, a lot of bees and they were working. And I saw, mostly I saw like the smaller bees and they were, you know, you know, pollinating and doing what they do. But then I saw one jumbo <laughs> bee and, I, and it was a yellow and black bee. The other ones were like orange and brown. This was a yellow and black bee. Like when you think of a bee, you think the yellow and black bee. It was a jumbo. I have never seen a bee that big. And it was pollinating and everybody was doing their thing. They were going from flower to flower and doing their thing. They weren't like you know looking at what the other one was doing or like you know having a collision or nothing they were just focused on doing what they were need what they needed to do and even though this big old bee like could literally like take all the you know do all the work because he was so big like all the little ones they were just as important as that one big one and no one seemed intimidated by that big one and that big one he was not even concerned about the little bees buzzing around him everybody was staying in their lane doing what they needed to do head down and taking care of business and that was just so symbolic to me like every Everything that I do, anything that I do in the way that I do it, in the way that God has gifted it to me to do it, in the way that I've been born to do it, you know, from the way that I speak, from the way that I look, from the way that I dress, the way that I carry myself, my mindset, even how that is growing, how my development, everything that I do, it matters and it means something and I need to focus on that and stop worrying about what other people are doing and how what I'm doing compares to what other people are doing. I don't need to be a big bee <laughs> in order to get the work done. I can be a small worker bee getting the work done and my impact is just as important as that big B because what happens with flowers I'm not even gonna try to think about it right now but you know they pollinate and they do what they do I can't even think right now you could tell me in the comments you know how the whole process goes or you can google it if you don't know but you know them pollinating and, and then going back to the hive and producing honey and like it it's a gift their work keeps giving it keeps giving it allows you know new plants to grow new flowers to grow it allows us to have honey because of the work that they do you know and the honey you know is good for our health like there's just so many things from like that one little bee whether it was a big bee or a little bee it didn't matter it doesn't matter they were doing what they needed to do and um it still has an impact that doesn't just affect that flower you know and they could be even still going to this each other's flowers and no one's saying oh i already touched that flower don't go there or you know the market is saturated there's so many flowers so i'm not gonna you know <laughs> do anything with it like i'm gonna go into another garden you know these are saturated it's already been taken there's a lot of bees going on over here but um like it doesn't matter your impact matters so i want to admonish you and myself to focus on doing our part where we are with what we have not worrying about how big or how small we are not worrying about the market not worrying about anything like if god designed us to do something in a certain way he will give us what we need and he will provide it and we just need to stay focused on staying in our lane <laughs> staying sane staying away from anxiety and depression induced by comparison um it would really really help us out so that's all i have for you today i hopefully will see you in another video soon but if not just take care be blessed and remember Stay sane by staying in your lane and minding your own business. Have a good one. Bye.